Kathy Thornton. I flew four times on the space shuttle on STS-33, which was the Department of Defense mission, on STS-49, which was the maiden flight of Endeavor, where we rescued a satellite and sent it on its way. On uh, STS-61 was the first service mission to Hubble, and on STS-73, which was a science mission, a space lab mission. I am often asked, how do you go to the bathroom in space, and it's, it's a not a big deal. It's a, both men and women use a urinal, which uses airflow to pull the urine away. It goes through a fan separator. The air is filtered and comes back into the cabin, and the liquid is, is stored and dumped overboard from time to time. And the solid waste is contained in a tank, and it's vented to space when not in use, so it freeze dries the stuff in there, so there's no odor and bacteria build up. So it's, it's a fairly nice, clean operation. On my first flight, uh, it was a classified mission, so I can't tell you what we did, but we had a very long, complicated first day, and everything had gone well. Um, I had believed that, because I wanted to, that I would be one of the 60% of the astronauts who didn't experience space adaptation syndrome or space sickness. I couldn't have been more wrong. At the end of that first day, I was tired, I was um, nauseous, I had a headache, I was just feeling absolutely miserable. The day's over, I was rolled up in a ball in my sleeping bag thinking, man, I'd have to get better to die. And then right at that moment, this alarm came on, and the only thing this alarm means is that you're losing your cabin atmosphere very quickly. Uh, your cabin is, there's a hole in the cabin somewhere. So I thought, I was just kidding about dying. I didn't really want to do that. Well, it turns out the first person to use the toilet in the uh, solid waste mode uh, had lifted up the handle, which closes the vent to space, and then pushed it forward, which opened up the, the gate valve and gave you a toilet. Uh, but the linkage was broken. So when he pulled up the handle, it didn't close the vent to space, and he pushed it forward. We had the equivalent of a half-inch hole in our cabin. So we were losing our cabin pressure really fast, but you know, the cause and effect was pretty clear, so the person on the toilet you know, shut it down pretty quickly, so we were not in any real danger. But it's just that, that moment of thinking I'd have to get better to die and having that that alarm come on at the same instant was kind of an eye-opener and kind of reminded me, be careful what you wish for because you, sometimes you don't want it. But we managed to, to fix the toilet. We took the panel off the front and instead of the, lifting the handle to close the vent to space, we put a, some vice grips on the linkage and we managed to operate that manually and use the toilet normally for the rest of the flight. 